Okay, are we going? We're rolling. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set my phone right there. I'm not even gonna look at fresh cut, fresh cut, fresh cut, favorite shirt, favorite shirt. We're making a new video. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Recently I went to the Oregon Coast. As you guys know, I love the Oregon Coast, absolutely loved it. One of my favorite places in the entire world. Um, this time around it was a little bit different. We went to a random thrift shop uh, on the Oregon Coast in Lincoln City. Can't remember the name of it, maybe I'll throw it up right here. Ooh. Inside of this thrift shop was a ton of old antiques, random shit, old, old, old stuff, right? Um was looking around specifically for cameras, but I ended up not finding anything until the very end in the back corner of the store was a shelf full of old, old, old school cameras. <sighs> we talking fast today, baby. Uh, too much coffee, okay, okay. Breathe. So on this shelf, I found two cameras that I had to cop, I had to purchase, and the price I got of them is absolutely ridiculous. And I mean that, completely ridiculous. And so I'll just show you guys these cameras right now. Uh, one you can see is in this, this is kind of like the glory box. Um, and then just stay, just stay. Oh shit. Uh, and then this one is also one of the cameras. So let's get into this one first just because it's not in a box and it's obvious you guys can see it. Uh, this is a Canon 310XL. Uh, this thing is a Super 8 camera. So when I found this camera, I found it inside the store. As you guys can see, I'm gonna hold it up and hopefully this thing focuses correctly. I have no idea what this is looking like right now, but hopefully it looks good. So this camera is a Super 8 camera. It shoots Super 8 film, which means you open this thing up, you pop this open, you put your cartridge in right there and then you close it. You come around, you turn this thing on and you guys wanna see something special? I got this camera for $25. If you look online right now, I believe they're going for anywhere from like $350 to $450. That is a steal for this thing. Um, and just listen, ready? I'm gonna put it up to the mic. So when I got there, it, I didn't know if it worked or not. I actually got to the front desk. There was no batteries. As you can see, you put in your AA batteries right here. Um, when I got to the front desk, I asked them, I was like, do you guys know if any of these cameras actually work? And they were like, we have no idea. Um, so I asked if I could borrow two AA batteries. I put them in here. And to my surprise, this camera actually works. So I'm very excited to see what this uh, this can um, this can create. I obviously haven't shot anything yet. The focusing system, or not the focusing, but the zooming system is not automatic, which means I have to do it manually, which is not that big of a deal. Um, that's totally fine for me. Is a steal. To find this for $25 is insane. So if you guys ever go into a thrift store and you see old cameras, look it up. Look up how much it costs because I don't think the people that sold this had any idea what they had on their hands. So that's camera number one, which is exciting. This is, this is awesome. But I wanted to go through that one kind of quick because this, what is inside of here, is very exciting. Um, what is inside of here is kind of mind boggling to be completely honest, to find this camera. I'm gonna just say it off that. I found this whole thing for $25. What is in here is going to surprise you. So all you have to do, it came with a case, it came with everything, $25, all of this together. So I'm gonna open this up. As you can see, nothing too fancy. It looks like a weird looking box, maybe like a carton of some sort. Um, this film I bought separately, so ignore that, and then some paperwork. So. This right here is actually a camera and for those of you for those of you that don't know what this is This is called a Polaroid SX 70, right? I said that right, right? Yes, this is a Polaroid SX 70 LAN camera So as you can see right now, it doesn't look like much the purpose for these cameras was made so that they could be extremely portable um, Extremely compact and you were able to kind of take it with you everywhere without it getting damaged Your grandparents probably had one of these at one point or like if, if any of your family members took Polaroids They were probably taking it on this thing um, so you guys ready? I don't think you're ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? You see that? Y'all see that? You guys see? Look at that! Look at that! It pops up and it turns into an, an entire Polaroid um, thing and it looks perfect. So this is my first time, you guys. I have not tested this camera. You actually need to buy film and able to test this camera because the film goes into the bottom of the camera and then that battery pack is actually inside the film canister. So the film, this is the film, Polaroid SX. I can't believe I found this at my local camera store. I can't believe they still had it. Color film, SX70 film. Um, yeah, vintage Polaroid, and oh shit. I don't know if you guys can see that, hopefully it focuses. So it is specifically made for this camera. 
So this holds the battery pack in order to test this. I have not tested this to see if it works, but before we test it, which honestly, I don't even care if it works or not. If it doesn't work, look at how pretty this is. This is a, this could be on my shelf and, and I'd be happy for the rest of my life. I wanna go through what else is inside this box because it, it's kind of insane. Sorry, I'm very excited. So I'm talking very fast and I can't breathe. When I open this up, there's two things in the box. The first one, which is crazy in itself, is a actual manual for the camera. So I'll try to, I don't know if you guys, literally talks about how you open and close the camera, talks about the camera, what it is, the settings. So this is a, this in itself is uh, very rare and a crazy find in itself. The other, the last thing inside this box that I found, which is the most special thing in my opinion, this tiny red card. The card reads, Polaroid Corporation, camera product services. Please keep this card with your camera instruction booklet, as it was with the instruction booklet. It says, we have replaced the shutter on your SX70 camera with an updated version. This shutter has new features, which will improve the performance of your camera and its capabilities to add to it. Here are the new features. Flash pictures, flash without door pictures, all pictures, and it goes through all these different things that improve the camera. Look at the date, you guys. Can you guys see that? Is it focusing? Do you guys see that date? It says, received October 1st, 1980, which means this camera shutter is 40 years old. <laughs> if we're watching this video in 2020, this camera shutter is 40 years old. So this camera is at least 40 years old and is it in, it's in this good of a condition. I got this for $25. These go online for about 400 at least in this good of condition with all the parts and everything. And we're gonna test it right here. So we're gonna test this for the first time. I've never tested this in my entire life. To load the film, you actually push down on this button right here and the front pops down like so. And then you load the film into there. As of right now, there is no, the shutter doesn't make any sound. It won't take a picture. It won't focus, it, like it won't do anything because of the fact that there's no charge to it so let's open this up all right opening up the first pack of film um color sx70 film look at that bad boy look look at how shiny that is you can probably see yourself the camera probably can't even focus on that right now i am opening up the first pack of film to try out this camera we're opening it up this is what the film pack looks like comes in 10 slides uh the batteries are in the back right here you can see the contactors so those are the batteries holy sh um, insert film from this side up. Do not remove this dark slide. All right, so this is gonna go up. All right, here we go. I'm gonna close it up. Do I pull this? No, I don't pull that. Okay, okay. Oh my God, it works. Holy sh Yo, what the hell? <laughs> I cannot believe you guys, this camera is 50 years old. This camera's 50 years old. This came with the camera as well. Um, this is actually a flash, you guys, and I'm taking very care of it. I'm being an idiot. Uh, people are gonna yell at me on the internet. This was sold by JC Penny. This flash, this is branded Electro, Electronic Strobe JC Penny. Please don't break this, Jake. Don't be an idiot. So strobe is on, flash is on. This plugs into the front here. If this works, I'm gonna cry. So this is the focus side. So I am focusing on the camera. So the exciting part about this is we're gonna instantly know if this camera works or not. So we have flash attached. Um, we have film inserted. There's a charge in the camera. We, I am about to take the first shutter. First shot with this camera. One, please work, please work, please work, please work. <laughs> Let's see if this works. So people usually say shake Polaroids. Um, I heard you, I can't believe that just worked you guys, what the hell? Holy shit, this works, you guys. What the fuck? All right, here we go. Hold on, hold on, let me focus. Okay, focusing. All right, here we go, ready? One, two, three. Yo. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Something's happening there. I'm gonna set that back down. Fuck, dude, I can't believe that worked. I just wanted to show you guys two of my thrift shop cameras finds. I'm obviously very lucky to find these things. I don't know how nobody had already caught them. Canon 310XL and Polaroid Land Camera SX70. Check out your local thrift shop and see if they have a camera section because a lot of the times there are hidden gems back there. I'm tripping out. I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to end the video here. I'll put the photos up. You guys can see them. I cannot believe these actually turned out. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Later. <laughs> Holy shit. Check out your local thrift shops. I'm serious. It's important. All right, out. Thank you.